On completing this chapter, you will be aware of documents and plans that address environmental, safety, and security risks that are always present on tankers, besides those specifically covered in ballast and cargo plans. These include cargo safety data sheets, the fire and safety plans, the shipboard oil pollution emergency plan (SOPEP), the ship's security plan (SSP), the volatile organic compounds management plan. What immediate practical steps for anyone working with oil cargoes will be found in the material safety data sheets? Information on material safety data sheets. The junior officers, pumpman and boatswain, being in charge of most operations during loading and on the laden voyage, should be familiar with the important information given in the cargo material safety data sheet. The material safety data sheet is a mandatory sheet of specific information to each grade of cargo. As well as bunker oils, where the main sections deal with emergency procedures and health hazards, the sheets give information about health hazards such as the presence of H2S, macapitans, or benzene in the cargo, besides flammability. The sheet specifies the immediate steps to take in case of an oil spill into the water or on deck, a fire, or the cargo being exposed to the skin or eyes, inhaled or swallowed. What are junior officers and crew responsible for according to the fire plans of the ship during cargo operations? Requirements for deployment. The junior officers and boatswain with the deck crew are responsible for deployment of fire hoses ranged fore and aft of the manifold that is in use and positioning the foam guns correctly. A waterproof copy of the ship's firefighting arrangements plan is required to be kept near the gangway. To assist in case shore firefighting teams are required by the vessel. When not carrying out cargo or navigational watchkeeping, what are the duties of junior officers in relation to the fire and safety equipment? Maintenance of life-saving and firefighting equipment. In addition to navigational watches, the junior officers are responsible for. Checks and maintenance of the vessel's life-saving and firefighting equipment. IMO and SOLAS regulations require a detailed record of such tests and maintenance. What are junior officers and crew responsible for, according to the shipboard oil pollution prevention plan, in preparing for and during cargo operations? Junior officers and crew are also responsible for deployment of the vessel's oil pollution prevention equipment, such as air-driven sandpiper pumps, oil booms, sawdust, brooms and shovels, fish plate scuppers, etc. What are the immediate tasks that junior officers should be familiar with in case of oil pollution? The junior officers should be familiar with first response action and alerting sequence, both on board and to shore. The reporting procedures given in the vessel's shipboard oil pollution emergency plan (SOPEP), IMO, and MARPOL requirements to equipment and operations requirements for reporting of oil spills. Click on the thumbnails to learn more. Where can we find a list of oil spill cleanup equipment that our vessel is required to carry and prepare during cargo operations? IMO International Convention for the Prevention of Pollution from Ships, 
as modified by the Protocol of 1978 relating thereto, MARPOL 7378, is the most important convention regulating and preventing marine pollution by ships. In the SOPEP manual, a list of required oil pollution cleanup equipment is implemented. The list should be made ship-specific, and a drawing of the location on board for such equipment should be posted on the bridge. For detailed information on this matter, see CBT number 0004 SOPEP and CBT number 006 OPA90. Where can junior officers find the prepared reporting forms to use immediately in case of an oil spill? Both in SOPEP and OPA90 manuals, detailed reporting procedures with reporting forms are implemented. The reporting forms should always be kept ready at hand on the bridge and pre-filled in with known data. What are the main duties of crew and junior officers related to security during cargo operations when no stores are being handled? The security plan is a ship-specific plan based on the IMO International Ship and Port Facility Security Code, ISPS Code, and SOLAS Amendments of 2002. All on board shall be familiar with the security procedures and routines, both in port and on the open sea. All doubts and clarifications may be taken from the ship security officer, who is usually a senior deck or engineer officer from their ship. Junior officers and crew are responsible for practicing the vessel's security plan, SSP. That is mainly, check that security surveillance rounds and ID checks at the gangway are carried out. Whom should crew seek clarification from about their tasks related to VOC management? All officers and crew also need to be aware that emissions of inert gas or cargo vapour from the vessel need to be regulated, and therefore tank, inert gas pressures and venting should be closely monitored and recorded. They should know the specific actions required of them as explained by the designated person for the VOC management plan of their vessel. This is usually the chief officer or a senior cargo officer. In case of any doubts, they should seek clarifications from him.